You know what? I know what you guys are thinking when you clicked on this video. If you've watched my, any of my other videos, either A, I am a hypocrite, or B, I am finally admitting to the fact that I am a weeb, that I am a degenerate, a degenerate asshole who's farming 18 hours a day on a gotcha game. And to that, I would say, you guys are right. You guys are goddamn right, I am. Welcome to my Genshin Impact review, where I talk about why I dissed on the game, and now why I actually kind of like the game now. So, let's begin. So, my history with the game is, well, you know, I've, I've made an account like 2019, 2018. Some, not, wait. When did the game come out? Well, I made the I made the account when 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 Monstat came out, okay? Like, like whatever. I, like, I I don't know, okay? It's been a long, it's been a long decade, okay? It's been a long decade. I'm I'm growing old, but the but the point was, you know, made an account when when Monstat came out, so I, I was kind of there, but not really there. I wasn't part of the beta, but I was there during the launch, so all is cool, all is cool. You know, I played the game. Um, you know, I kept getting roadblocks, you know, and I, like, you know, I couldn't, like, progress or some shit like that, and, you know, I had to be at a certain rank to do this and that and that, so I would stop, and then, you know, I would pick up the game, like, a year later, and I would keep playing again until, you know, oh, whoa, look at that, leeway, we got leeway, so, you know, I actually, you know, took the time to grind up so that way I could afford to go to leeway, and then we went to leeway, and, uh, you know, I reached the end of Leeway, and that's where I decided to stop. I was like, you know what, this boss fight too difficult, and, uh, you know, I, I don't want to do this anymore. You know, I don't want to do this anymore. So, you know, right at, the, right at the end of Leeway, and, you know, Inazuma starts popping up, and, you know, I don't do that until very, 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 very long, very months, months later. Then, do I decide to be a very cool guy, and it's like, you know what? Let's finish the darn fucking game for now. Like, why not? Why not catch up to the boys, right? Why not catch up to the fan base? Why not catch up? Why not catch up? And I pick up the game. And funny enough, uh, for some reason, this time was different. This time, I didn't. It didn't feel like a chore. It didn't feel like an obligation. Uh, for some reason, I actually kind of liked the gameplay. For some reason. For some reason, I know, because the last two times I did this for Mondstadt and Leeway, um, yeah, I, I just didn't I, didn't, I didn't really find it all that interesting. But then at the end of Leeway and the start of Inazuma, and I finished all of Inazuma, you know, in about a couple days, and all the story and all that, and oh my god, is Genshin Impact something else now? All right, something else now. Boo, 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 boo. Austin the hypocrite. Oh my god, he said mobile gacha game fail. Oh my god, he said they are not interesting. Oh my god. Well, shut the fuck up. People can have different opinions, okay? Fuck off. Shut the fuck up. Anyway, so. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Man, I, I, people have people's opinions can change, okay? Get your impact cool now. Very, 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 very cool, yeah? Very, very cool. I gotta say though, but in all, but all, but in all uh, honesty, um, the first thing that like really stood out to me was that like you know I've played on different platforms before, right? I've played on a lot of different platforms before. So like I've played on mobile before, I've played on PC before, and this is the first time I picked up a controller to play this game. And oh my god, the experience playing on a controller is so much different than playing on the other two. Like for example, right? I would play on mobile for like during my leeway times. And I would play, uh, and like, you know, my phone would always get hot, and you know, like everybody, any like Genshin mobile player would, would relate to this. Like, you know, you're playing an intense boss fight, and then you get the low battery, like 5% thing. I'm like, oh, shut the fuck up, man. Shut the fuck up. Like, you know, <laughs> like, you know, and just rushing to plug my goddamn phone while I'm doing this boss fight. And, you know, my hands will get sweaty, like, motherfucker, you know? It's just like, ugh. Genshin on mobile is just it, it, like that too doesn't worry like like I said it like I said before like it like Genshin is a, kind of a different exception it really shouldn't be treated as a gacha game like really like it's more of like a fucking like asteroid or a fucking nuke you know what I mean on your phone it's not really a gacha game it's just 
there to burn your phone and burn your burn your goddamn legs and thighs whenever you put it in your goddamn pocket. <laughs> and I don't know. Like like I said, like I, I've had a shit time playing through Leeway because I was playing on mobile. Um, and on Mondstadt, uh, the reason why I just never got really hot to Mondstadt was like, um, I guess PC controls aren't really my thing. Like, you know, like whenever, like if the game is saying, oh, you have to fucking right click to sprint, uh, that's when you know that life has gone wrong. You know what I mean? That's that's when you know that society society has like messed you up. You know what I mean? Like like in an alternate universe, like even then they would be like, you right click this fucking sprint, you piece of shit. What? Like it's always been shift and it's always going to be shift. But so that's why I I, I just abandoned PC controls. You know what I mean? And I guess who knew? Con like playing on a controller made everything so much more fun for me. I mean. I actually, I actually enjoyed the game for the first time because of that. Actually, I was actually was able to like move around and you know experience things, you know, <laughs> because I got I was able to move freely instead of just you know right click to sprint like my like a motherfucker. Like every time I accidentally you know click right, you know, like thinking I'm gonna aim, it turns out I'm sprinting. It's like oh my god, it's it's ridiculous. I actually, I actually so dumb like. You right click to sprint, you piece of shit. What? Like honestly, that, like that's going to be an insult from now on, right? That's going to be an insult. Like like any like like any time any any time a Genshin player just like talks back to me, I'm like, you right click to sprint. Like don't even like like don't even talk to me, bro. Don't even. But you know what I mean? Yeah. So like you know, playing on a controller, it's been a blast playing on it. And you know, yeah, I got through all of Inazuma, and so here are my thoughts. Right here are my thoughts for the game. Um, I'm gonna be talking about a little bit of Mondstadt, a little bit of Leeway, and a little bit, and a lot of Inazuma, right? Because, you know, I've never done a proper Genshin review before, so, you know, I might as well do it the best, right? Might as well do it the most interesting. So, uh, Mondstadt, big boy Mondstadt. Um, I can't remember, it's been like a very long time, you know, very, very, very long time. But, I can say is that, um, uh, yeah, um, you know, you know, you know those uh, AR fucking blocks, right? Like I said earlier in the in the video, I said, uh, you know, I kept getting roadblocks in the fucking beginning. Like, oh, you have to be adventure rank 15 to progress. You have to be adventure rank 18 to progress. Um, I, I don't like that. I don't like that. You know, what came? Well, like, believe it or not, believe it or not, right? Believe it or not. Yes, yes, Genshin Impact, very cool, yes, yes, Waifu, very cool, but I, I did play the game for the story, because, I mean, at the end of the day, open world, open world games, they need their story, okay, like, I, I, like ooh, cool, big boobs, you know, I, I like that, I like that, you know, big, big moms, you know, very, very cool, very cool, like, I, I do like that, I do like that, but, you know, you know, I play, I play Genshin Impact for the story, I know, I'm so quirky, I know, I'm so quirky, you know, I play for the story, you know, because it's an open world game, you know, you got quests and all that fun stuff, you know. You know, it's, it's exploring the world of Genshin, exploring the lore of Genshin Impact, you know, it's it's all that good shit, you know, it's all about that good shit. Exploring the the itty bitty, the, the, the midi bitty, you know, the itty bitty bitty witty 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 of Genshin Impact. And if you're gonna block every single step of the way, like, oh, you have to be AR-15 or you have to be AR-18. And when I mean my AR, I don't mean I don't mean a gun. I don't mean I don't mean an assault rifle. I mean an adventure rank. I mean an adventure rank. Adventure rank, yeah. Adventure rank. Okay, there you get it. You get it. You get it now. Yeah. So it's basically just like adventure rank. Very cool. Very epic. Very hog. Um, I have to grind that all the shit. And you know, like every like every five seconds would be oh you have to be adventure rank. Adventure rank 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I mean, if you play the game, you grind a little bit. It's not too bad, right? But, you know, when I first start out the game, I'm just like, are you... Jesus Christ, what, what are all these goddamn roadblocks for, right? All these goddamn roadblocks for. Thank goodness whenever I went to the leeway, it wasn't like that. But, like I said, I mean, playing on phone was just ridiculous at the time, you know? I, I just couldn't keep up with, the, with my other Genshin players who were just fucking... Uh, 360, 360 no scoping everybody, you know, so that, like that's a different story for Leeway, but Mondstadt, you know, it wasn't like PC controls that like killed me the most, even though, even though screw you, 
screw you right clickers like oh my goodness disgusting uh, but no it was just like the blocks like oh my god you have to be ranked 20 if you want to do the main storyline quest like shut the fuck up man let me do that what let me do whatever the fuck i want like this is this is why it's an open world game this isn't a goddamn linear game huh this isn't a goddamn linear game so so don't, so don't mess around like that you goddamn asshole um uh, you know but yeah like that was my experience with monster the story wise it was i mean i mean compared to the other bridges it's not the best but you know it's the beginning of it's the beginning of Genshin Impact, so you know what? You gotta, you gotta give massive props to it. It's, I mean, why not? Why not? You know, it's very, it's very linear, but it's very cool. It's very polished. And uh, and you know, you got a uh, leeway. You know, yeah, leeway. Uh, leeway is pretty cool too. You know, you got Zhang Li. You know, it's pretty cool. You know, the first one was Venti, the, the god. You know, very epic, very poggers, You know, um, yeah, Zhang Li. Um, and Li Wei, you know, very cool. It's like ancient China or some shit like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, did I have great experiences with Li Wei? Yes, I did. I had great experiences, but uh, playing, I'm uh, playing my phone. Um, has made me ruin some experiences for Li Wei for me. Um, I, I didn't really like Li Wei that much, to be honest, because I was playing on phone. Like I said, like a nuke, a nuke to my, to my, to my arms, to my, to my god, to my goddamn hands, you know. Uh, that isn't very appealing. That is not very appealing. Believe it or not, believe it or not, it's actually not that appealing at all. It's not. It's not. I know. I know. I know what you're saying. It's not. I know. It's crazy. It's crazy. Am I right, guys? It's crazy. Having a nuke to your hands is just. It's, it's not that. It's not that crazy. It's crazy, but it's crazy. Story-wise, it did improve much more than Genshin, or it, it did improve much more than Mondstadt. I mean. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I, I, I enjoyed it, you know, the story-wise, I played for the story, and you know, uh, I don't grind for the story, but I play for the story, and you know, yeah, it def definitely did improve, for sure, story-wise. Uh, oh my god, let's talk about Inazuma now, right? That, this is where the good shit happens, is Inazuma. Uh, that's where the good stuff happens. Yeah, cause I just played through Inazuma recently, I haven't went th through the other two regions, that, that was like a couple months ago for sure. And maybe even a year ago or two. I don't know. I don't know anymore, okay? My life sucks, okay? I can't tell time anymore. But, yes, but, Inazuma, I did play through that yesterday. Like, all of it through yesterday, and I'll, you know, might as well explain it now, right? This this basically is just an Inazuma fucking, uh, you know, yahoo, you know, basically. So, you know, Traveler comes in, Inazuma, you know, very cool, very poggers. We just... You know, did a bunch of stuff in Leeway Monster. We're basically, you know, celebrities at this point. You know, a hundred million subscribers on YouTube <laughs> for me, obviously. Uh, and you know, everybody wants our autograph and all that. But oh no, Inazuma's close, right? Inazuma's like, no, 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 nobody here. So you know, we go in, and you know, even famous people can't get on. You know, so luckily, you know, there's this guy that just like, oh wait, spoilers by the way, spoilers for Inazuma. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. But this is at the very beginning of Inazuma, right? It's the beginning of Inazuma, so so chillax, so chillax, alright. So, you know, even if you do go into Inazuma, uh, yeah. Famous celebrity can't get on, you know. That's that that we basically know that at the end of Leeway, alright? You basically know that at the end of Leeway. And I don't think I even spoiled Leeway or Monster. I don't think so. All all I spoiled was like Sean Lee or Ben, right? Yeah, that was about it, yeah, okay. So yeah, spoiler one. Okay, so you know this guy comes up. He's like, "Oh, yo, what's going on, fam? What's going on? Uh, uh, you know, nice to meet you. Uh, help us out here, and we'll help you out with finding the right Shogun. Yeah." And Traveler's like, "No, no." He's like, "Aw, aw. Fine, I'll test you. If you want, if you want to see right Shogun." <laughs> so then he just like does some other shit, and you know, we have to escape. You know, this little area, and you know. Uh, you know, we meet we meet these people, and you know, these people are like, "Oh, yo, what's going on?" This thing called the Vision Hunter Creed. Uh, go help out those other people out there who lost their visions. Oh my God, visions visions are there, visions. Oh yeah. So you know, help them out, and you know, obviously they can't be helped because they're visions and vision, 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 and um, you know, and we're, we're just having a good time. We go to visit Inazuma City, and then 
uh, we get captured and you know we get wanted, we get arrested, and we have to run and we have to we have to we have to start a rebellion. It's super cool, super epic, yeah. We go to the uh, and we go to the rebel forces. It's like basically Star Wars, you know, the rebels versus the Empire. Literally, uh, it's literally just Star Wars, like fucking epic, you know, rebels versus the Empire. It's so epic. The rebels are outnumbered, and they're like, oh no, oh oh my god, and uh, you know, there are like secret like enemy uh, helpers that like supply the rebels with like uh, our our enemy, the Fatui, you know, helps out the the rebels, and you know, turns out the Fatui is actually the one. Uh, messing around in the Empire, like, I know, right, the, the Empire's Inazuma, right, and the Rebels are just, like, the other Inazuma people, but the Fatui, who are evil, you know, who we thought were good people at, in Inazuma, turned out to be, oh no, bad people, they were supplying us with drugs that made, made, made our life force go down, so, you know, Trout was like, oh, so we're, so we're just, we went to the Fatui, stopped their tracks, beat their ass, you know, and it turns out we got our ass beat, and then we, and then, you know, we're, and then we prepare for the Ryan Shogun, because, you know, spoiler alert, uh, Ryan Shogun is at the end of the boss, you know, at, at the end of the, at the end of Inazuma, all that good stuff, yeah, okay, shut the fuck up, so, you know, you know, we do Inazuma, you know, uh, there's so much, so much, so much stuff, right, but we prepare for Ryan Shogun, and, you know, it's, it's, it's so, it's so epic, so we, we fight Ryan Shogun with the power of anime and friendship, and, you know, we save Inazuma, and we're basically even bigger celebrities than we were before, basically. And that, that's just an oversimplification of it, but uh, I'm not gonna make, I'm not gonna waste your time, okay? Uh, Inazuma, very awesome, very epic. Uh, the story-wise was awesome, right? Awesome. So that basically concludes all of the story aspect for the game. Uh, let's talk about the sound, music, oh my god. Each, like, honestly, music is what got me through this game, for sure. Along with story. Music was also really, really good. I mean, like, uh, of course, Mondstadt music is classic. Mondstadt daytime music in the goddamn city is classic. Classic. Uh, leeway was also really nice. Very awesome. Uh, very, very, very ancient china -y, you know. Very, very, very Chinese, very cool. But Inazuma, man. Inazuma. Like I said, this video is going to be an Inazuma suck up post. It's like me and Inazuma are going to get married together. Like, oh my god, Inazuma is good. The battle music was good. Like, the boss fight music was good. Raiden. Like, oh, 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 oh. The OST. So good at Inazuma. Oh my god. That, that, that shit was awesome. Like I said, the other two, uh, I haven't played through as much. You know, it's been a long time. You know what I mean? It's been a long time since I remember the other two. And honestly, Inazuma, awesome. Very awesome. You know what I mean? Very awesome. Uh, visuals, like I guess, I mean, like people have said since the beginning of time, it's like basically just Breath of the Wild, you know? Visuals, visually, you know? Very visually, yeah. Um, I mean, I've never played Breath of the Wild. I know, it's very unfortunate. But, you know, I mean, yeah, the game, the game looks nice, you know? The game looks nice, I mean. What can I say, right? What can I say? Um, let's see. What is another thing to talk about? Talk about the quests. Uh, yes, quests are divided by like Archon quests, Story quests, World quests, which are pretty cool. World quests are basically these side side stories where you can just do whatever the fuck you want. It doesn't. I mean, you can do whatever you want, and you know, you just basically just. Interact with the world of Genshin, you know, that's why it's called, that's why they're called world quests. Well, I think they're pretty cool. Story quests are like proper side missions. Um, proper side missions that kind of affect the main story, which is, you know, pretty, pretty cool. You know, I, I do like side missions, but side missions are pretty cool. So you had side side missions, and now you got side missions. And then you got the main missions, the Archon quests. Archon quests are what I live for. And oh my god, they are so fun. They're so fun. Like, like Inazuma has made Genshin so much more fun. Like, the Archon Quest is such much more fun to do, like, honestly. God damn. Raiden Shogun? Beyond Miko? Like, that ship? Oh my god. Like, come on. I want them to make out in this game. Like, that, like, before I quit the game again, and before I start making another goddamn Genshin Impact rant again, I need to see Raiden Shogun, I need to see I and fucking Yai, I need to see them make out. Like, please, please, just make it a Genshin about it. Like, please, like, honestly, let, like, 
Oh, oh, it's so, they're so hot. They're so hot. They're so hot. They're so, they're so, they're so cute. Honestly, fucking hell, man. So, like, I know I'm, I know I'm so bricked up. I'm so down hard, you know. I, 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 I'm, I'm down bad for sure. Like, right? like in the comments down below, just type down awesome down bad, yeah. Uh, type out uh Asian, Asian boy who can't even fucking shave uh down bad, like. Like, type it down below, yeah, type it down below. I want it, I want, I want to listen to that, yeah. I'll even heart your goddamn, uh, go goddamn stupid comments. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll do that, yeah. It, it, it'll be awesome, yeah, it'll be awesome. Um, yeah, so, um, <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure, man, yeah. But, like, yeah, um, they're fine, like I said, um, Liyue and Inazuma, there aren't, haven't been any, like, AR quests or anything like that, so, I mean, not AR quests, like, AR, like, roadblocks, like, oh, like, uh, can't do this, like, you know, certain rank, uh, you know, there haven't been too many of those in, in Liyue and Inazuma, which is pretty nice, instead there have been more of, like, oh, you gotta do this quest, this quest, this quest, this quest, before you do this quest, and I'm like, you know what, that's better, right, that's better. Making me do the other quest before I do this quest is a much better system of like, oh, you have to be ranked 36 before you do this quest. Like, honestly, that is a much better roadblock, and that's something I'm more willing to do. That's more willing, I'm more willing to grind for, right? Like I said, uh, I play for the story, I don't grind for the story, but I'm more willing to grind for the for this story than I'm more willing to grind for my AR rank. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, if you, if you get my drift, you, you you'll, you'll understand. You will understand, yeah. You will understand for sure. Uh, yeah. I, like, like, I know I'm gonna pick, like, really Archon quest, story quest, like... But that doesn't make any fucking sense, man! Like, like, side, like you might as well say side quest, main quest, but... Archon quest doesn't sound that important. Even though it technically is more important. So, to the person who, who first started Genshin Impact, you would think story quests are more important than Archon quest, but... No, Archon Quest refers to like God Quest. Basically, you, got, you gotta call them God Quest. God Quest are important quests, right? So instead of calling them Archon Quest, you gotta call them God Quest. God Quest sounds really more epic. I would I'd rather play through a God Quest than through an Archon Quest, okay? That, that's just a nitpick, really. That's just a nitpick. Um, uh, and, yeah, I mean, Farming. Let's talk about farming, right? Let's talk about farming domains and bosses. Uh, bosses, uh, they're fun. They're, they are they are fun. Yes, yes, yes. I know they are fun. I do I do enjoy bosses. They're not as hard as you know some of the other bosses in other games that I will not mention. But they're not as you know they're, they're not they're not pushovers either. I do enjoy the game. Yes, yes. I do enjoy the game. Yes, yes. Uh, the bosses, you know, yeah, they're fun. They're fun. Um, and you know they got cool attack patterns and all that, and not every boss is the same. But man, why why are they all goddamn fucking cubes, huh? For fuck's sake, Genshin, you put a lot of effort into like voice acting, into character models, into fucking the world, the landscape. The world is very rich. The world is very fucking beautiful and awesome. And and really, the one thing you can't, the one thing you fucking cheap out is the goddamn bosses. God damn, like everything's a goddamn fucking cube, like god damn bro. Like it's like cube mania, it's like Windows 11, but like epic and and, and 3D, like holy shit. Like you ever see that Windows Windows 11 icon or like like anybody who's on Windows 11, just like look at look at that, look at that icon. Like it's like the four fucking uh the four fucking uh uh the mini cubes into one cube. Yeah, yeah, like, like, like that, like that shit. That, like, it's basically that. It's basically just Windows 11 uh, monsters, basically. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, that's kind of annoying. But other than that, uh, yeah, I, I, I like the bosses. They're fun. They're fun to do. Uh, domains, domains. Um, honestly, this is this is the one part of the gacha system where I don't want to like do this. Like, like I don't want to participate in domains that much, even though. Even though, yes, if you want to get stronger in Genshin, you have to do the domains, you have to do that. But personally, as a person, I'm just like... <sighs> really? Do I have to? Like, it's a gacha game, like... 
got like like farming should be AFK. Yeah, in most gacha games, but in Genshin Impact, farming you have to be there. And that's the most annoying part. I mean, the domains themselves aren't bad, you know what I mean? Like farming isn't like the issue. Like the challenges are pretty cool. Like fight this many monsters in 50 seconds. Like, you know what, whatever, like I don't care that much, but uh, you know, it's 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 gacha, you know, you're farming. If you're if you're farming in a video game, typically typically it should be AFK. That way, you can just go take a shit, and then when you come back, oh, you got this many rewards or or fucking items or stuff like that. You know what I mean? You should be able to do that, especially in a goddamn gacha game. You should be able to do that. But, unfortunately, alas, no. I don't think you get AFK a goddamn open world fucking, uh, you know, game. Like, all that fun stuff. Ugh. It pains me, but whatever. Whatever. And I think last but not least, let's talk about wishes. Let's talk about all that good stuff. Is this game free to play? Can you get a lot of heroes? And the answer is yes, technically. Technically, it is free to play. Yes, you don't have to spend money. Um, but is it hard to get primo gems? Yes, yes, yes. Um, yes, yes, it is hard to get primo gems. Is it hard to get five stars and five star weapons? Yes, yes, yes. And did I spend any money? Yes, yes, yes. Did I wail? No, 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 no. I never wailed. Um, I only spent that little, like, $9.99 pack or some shit. Um, yeah. Other than that, no. I, I've never wailed on any banner or anything like that. Um, yeah, I, I, I've never, I, I've never, I've never wailed much. Yeah, I, I've never, yeah. I've never wailed. Yeah, I've never wailed. Um... Am I having fun, even though I have no 5-star characters? Before, uh, no. Before I was kind of upset, I was like, god damn. Only 5-stars will make this game enjoyable. And I, I picked up this, I picked up Genshin, you know, recently. Like, like right now, you know. Um, uh, and I played through all of Inazuma, and I was like, you know what? As long as I don't pay attention to the gacha aspect, and just pretend it's another open world game. Just pretend that the gacha system doesn't exist. And you're gonna have fun with the game, but the minute you start thinking about primo gem, you start thinking about getting, uh, you start thinking about saving up for the next banner. That's when you're gonna be miserable. That's when you realize you're gonna be fucking miserable. Yeah, that's that's basically the end game, right? The minute you reach end game for Genshin, like I'm not I'm not end game yet, which is thank goodness I'm not. That's why I'm able to enjoy so much of the game right now. That's why I was able to clear through a goddamn region in a couple days, but. The minute you realize that this game is a gacha game, you have to forget about that. You have to forget that this game is a gacha game in order to have fun. But the minute you like, you have to think of this game as an open world game, kind of like, kind of like Zelda. Of, of, you know what? It's kind of like Zelda. You know what I mean? Uh, even though I've never played Zelda, but you know I've watched walkthroughs and stuff like that. So think of it. Think of it as Zelda, right? Pretty much. Story wise, just play for the story, right? The minute you start thinking, of, you start thinking of primo gems. Oh no, the game will not be fun anymore. It will be a grind. It'll be, it'll be annoying. It'll, you, it'll be any other gacha game at that point. And when you think of, when you think of that game as any other gacha game, that's when you realize, oh no, oh no, this is <sighs> grinding is going to be a thing. You're going to have a part-time job in the game, and that's when you're not going to have fun anymore. Yeah, that's not when you're gonna have fun anymore. So overall, Genshin Impact, pretty cool. Uh, Mondstadt, I don't know. I don't remember. I, don't, I can't recall. Leeway, I can't recall. Uh, Inazuma, fucking 9 out of 10. Fuck yeah. Like, pretty much. Like, fucking 9.1 out of 10. It's fucking awesome. I enjoyed Inazuma. Really nice. Like I said, Raiden... Red and Shogun and Yai Miko, like, come on, I, 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 I and Yai, bro, like, come on, like, please make out, like, come on, that would, that would improve Genshin Impact much more. All right, this is, this is your boy, broke Asian, broke Asian who just quit, his, is about to be homeless in about two years. Uh, th th this is, th this is, this is that guy. All right, I'll see you guys later. All right, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Please give me more Primo gems. I'm just kidding. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't need it. I don't need no more. Alright, bye. Bye, 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 bye.